Well, it appears the hackers may have won. After five major movie theater chains announced they will not show the film, Sony has now canceled the release of the movie next week, even though Homeland Security says this threat is not credible. If you live in the Rio Grande Valley, seeing the interview may not be an option. I'm going to North Korea. Movie stars Seth Rogen and James Franco play tabloid journalists recruited by the CIA to kill Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea. It's a comedy, but now no one is laughing. After a cyber attack on Sony leaking sensitive and embarrassing documents, a hacker group called Guardians of Peace has now made an ominous threat to moviegoers who plan on seeing the film. I know some people, some friends of mine, they're, they're saying, you know, this is America. We, you know, we deserve to watch whatever we want to watch. But Joey Hernandez says he is heeding the promise of bitter fate to anyone who watches the film in theaters. It's better to, to be safe than sorry. Movie goer Javier Castillo says he doesn't think the threat is meant for theaters in the Rio Grande Valley and is considering seeing the movie. I think the uh, people that live in bigger cities like New York, Los Angeles, uh, those are the places where uh, people should be more concerned. Edinburgh police say they are aware of the threats with two movie theaters in their city. They are taking this threat seriously. We will increase our vigilance. We will increase our extra patrols. And if the officer that's working security uh, encounters any type of problems, he can easily radio for any assistance. Major movie theater chains say they will not show the film until the FBI concludes their investigation into the terroristic threats. And since the threat was made, movie stars Seth Rogen and James Franco have canceled all of their media appearances this week. The North Korean government has condemned the movie, saying it's an act of war. Reporting in the Hidalgo County Newsroom, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.